Hi friends, Miss Davis here. Today we're reading If You Take a Mouse to School by Laura Nemiroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to school. 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 He'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. See the mouse in the backpack? When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. That looks like a lot of fun. Might be kind of a big mess to clean up, but Looks like he's enjoying himself. Then he'll have to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean. He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. It looks a little bit bigger than little, doesn't it? Kind of a big house for a little mouse. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. That's a really cool skateboard. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, where's his lunchbox? If he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him. Where are you gonna have to go to get the lunchbox? back to school. I hope that you enjoyed our story today of if you take a mouse to school. Teachers, this is a great book for the beginning of the school year talking about how one thing goes into the next, but this is also a great series. I don't know if you have heard of it. Um, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a moose a muffin, if you give a pig a pancake, they're all great stories that kids really love. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe, and share with other teachers. I hope you have a great day.